So I wanted to talk about taxes as quickly and as non-boring as I can because people, you know, they just hear money and taxes. They're like, oh my God, taxes is theft and all this stuff. I don't want to have to keep paying taxes. And I even have people come from out of state because I live in California. And when I used to work in retail, they would come out of state and say, sales tax, what is this? I'm from whatever. And what's all this fee and stuff? So uh, I really don't think taxes are as bad as some people say. Yes, taxes go to pay great things, you know, firemen, the ambulances, parks, the roads, and all that stuff. But there is also a great argument to say we just keep giving money and money to the government and then the government just misplaces it or whatever. Or like I even live in this town and they've repaved my my neighborhood like two or three times, at, at least two times. I know a fact at least two times in the past 18 years. And there's still, my, my town is only three miles wide and there's still so many shitty roads with potholes and stuff. And it's like, you can repave my road because I'm like kind of in a nice neighborhood, but you can't like repave these crappy roads. You know, the town's not that big. I mean, come on. So that's also an argument of how government just misplaces the tax monies and stuff. But then there's another bigger argument for wealthy taxes and stuff because you know you hear so many people say people don't need this much money you know let's just take more money from the wealthy and then the poor people will have more money or we can build more stuff give more money to schools or whatever and then of course those rich people are like i earned this money why do i have to give money to people who haven't earned it or who aren't working or whatever when i'm working my ass off so these are pretty much the two arguments and over the years, because I've been keeping, I've been paying attention to politics, the tax rates and all the stuff, the taxes just keep going lesser and lesser, down, 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 down. And I remember when George W. Bush was in office and he made these tax cuts and everybody was like, what the heck? How, how are you even going to pay for all this stuff? And then, of course, he just blew up the budget with all the wars and stuff. But then when Obama came in, he didn't want to look bad by putting more taxes on people and he didn't have to do anything because those taxes George W. George W. Bush put in place had an expiration date so it was like from here to here you guys have tax cuts and then so when Obama came in office he didn't have to do anything tax cuts expire that's it but he was either he was playing the political game or he was just another corporate tool helping the rich but he extended and made a lot of those tax cuts permanent. And so less revenue going to the government meant more cuts to this and this and this and this. Again, you can make the argument, well, you know, the government has the money. They're just not giving us the money here and there. That's all, again, that's a perfectly fine argument. And that's also why I say push a representative or even both the representatives out if they're not trying to give us that money back and give us that money back into the community. You know, give us... Uh, money for the education for the firemen for the roads and all that stuff and not keep giving tax cuts to the wealthy or to businesses and stuff and I know there's another whole argument of taxes and businesses and all that BS so yes it is complicated so some people say we should have a flax a flat tax which means everybody pays the same amount so a person who makes a dollar will pay 10% of taxes they pay 10 cents. Person makes $100, pays $10. Person makes $1,000, pays $100. Because we all pay 10%. That's a flat tax. Some people say it's a good idea, but when you look at it in the bigger thing, there's people that are making millions upon millions, and there are even billionaires living in the United States. Well, technically, they're just worth billions of dollars. They don't actually have a billion dollars. Anyways, there are some people that actually own millions of dollars and make millions of dollars. And that's why some people say, you do not need all that money to live. What are you going to do with all of it? Just buy cars and stuff like that. And that, that just helps the car industry, the auto industry, which is making the cars like over in Mexico or whatever. Well, anyways, that's a whole other argument. Anyways, so uh, some people are saying, if you make this much, you should be taxed this much. You make more, you get taxed more. You make a million, you'll get taxed 50%, let's just say. You still have $500,000 to live off of. 
and then a person who only makes a thousand dollars will get taxed at still ten percent let's just say and then so they lose a hundred dollars out of their thousand they still have nine hundred dollars to pay the bills the other person still has five hundred thousand dollars to pay the bills so as you can see that they're still all all right one person pays less taxes one person pays more taxes so that seems fine but some people still say that's unfair and then there's the argument for marginal tax rates which is kind of a balance between the two I think so let's say this person who makes a million dollars gets charged 50% taxes so he only has five hundred thousand dollars but he made a million and then he makes an additional million so he has two million one million one million because of the marginal tax rate at that one million that gets charged at 50% after the million the marginal tax rate kicks in and it's like oh now it's I don't know 90% so if you make another million we're gonna take that 90% which is 900,000 and then you just keep that 100,000 but you also still have that 50% of the first million which is 500,000 so in total you have 600,000 out of the 2 million that you made so of course rich people are upset oh my god you know I made two million dollars I only get to keep six hundred thousand that's that's effed up but then of course the poor people are like well yeah but you know we're starving over here we literally have no money to eat or for health care or anything like that that's usually the argument you make against people who want to take more and more taxes because in reality looking at the history of the United States we have taxed rich people at high high rates and the country was made off the backs of the rich because they didn't need all that money they were still able to survive but we used all that money to bring the poor up into like the middle class and stuff like that and it just made everybody all together well off and it's not just you get to eat and you get to li to live it's also you get an education and that education should prompt you up and then start a better business or participate in the uh, community and just build a better country that's the whole point the whole theory but then there's some other people who keep arguing against taxes and then they just keep cutting cutting and then the education goes down and then we have health issues there's lead in the water there's uh, a huge outbreak with lettuce I haven't had iceberg lettuce in like two years I think because there's been a huge outbreak some listeria outbreak I think it was and then there's vaccination outbreaks because people don't want to vaccinate their kids and stuff so yeah there's a lot to think about when it comes to running a country and taxes this is just one of them hopefully I didn't get too confusing and too boring and stuff you guys can leave a comment if you guys even watched it give me some food some feedback because I'm trying to talk about these topics that are usually boring to people to keep people informed with basic stuff basic information